fans, welcome to Bison TV as we bring you the highlights of the game between the Basingstoke Bison and the Telford Tigers. The last time these two sides met, the Bison came away with a massive 6-0 victory on the road in Telford's first ever game at home since their comeback in the EPL. And Tommy Annette's having the first away shutout in many a year. Fantastic stuff. The Bison will be looking to continue this again tonight. The man to watch tonight for Telford, two players for you. First up, Martin Clarkson. He may not be fit for this game. It's been a bit touch and go, but Clarkson comes with a massive pedigree as a stunning netminder from Cardiff. Spent a bit of time in Canada. Certainly is going to be interesting to see how he does play. The second player to watch for us, Chris Allen. At the end of the day, a resume that is just stunning. NHL, AHL, ECHL, Elite League. The guy has done it all. But is he going to be able to turn in the performances in the EPL? Last time out, I thought he was very disappointing. So I'm going to be interested to see how he gets on tonight. So let's cross over to our commentary team for the match. Well, when Steve spoke to me in the week when I was doing the article for the Gazette, he said that he felt they were an off night. They caught them on and uh, they were 2 0 down, their heads dropped. Since then, of course, Telford came off a three point weekend last weekend, so they'll have a bit more confidence than when they played them. And that's a good save from Annette. As you say, more pressure there from the uh, Tigers. So it's going to be a lot closer, I think, than the fans uh, are expecting. Yeah, well, if you look at, as I said earlier, looking at the results this evening, most of it, apart from the 5 1 defeat and the 6 0 defeat to the uh, Slough Jets and Basingstoke Bison respectively. The, the games that the Tigers have been involved in have all been very close and not many good, just one or two goals between them. So they're certainly going to be in with a shot tonight as long as unless the Bison can perhaps maybe get an early goal just to have heads on drop. But it uh, doesn't look like they're going that way at the moment. But here, perhaps all that could change. Scheme for the shot, deflected. That's going to be difficult for Carson to deal with, but it deals a little well. That would help from the defenseman. It was Henry who was back there clean up and Kubenko's back and helping out defensively. Skeen didn't know what the puck was and uh, oh it's a goal for the Telford Tigers and that's it goal and nothing again and Bruce smart play to kick Skeen didn't know where the puck was he was facing the other way and Bruce was there on hand to just sweep up the puck and fire it past Tom and that's caught everyone by surprise and with eight minutes eleven seconds left on the clock in, in the first period the Telford Tigers have well they have the lead with one nothing Tigers Redmond goes towards the net, but uh, Hemi's going find him again. His puck just flying into the, the, the shins of one of the Telford players. Jack Watkins there, and a bit of a tie-up with Hemmings. And Hemmings is good, good play to get the puck back. He's close to the point now. Graham well, wasn't really a shot on there, so he tried to pass it to Tony Redmond. And again, it's cleared, but only as far as Graham is. Oh, and a great play on the rebound there from Chris Wiggins. He's very alert to the rebound. The Tigers couldn't clear the zone, and... Uh, a great play from Chris Reeves to just be on hand to fire that ball into the roof of the net. And that's what the Bison needed. It's, it's all tied up now with five minutes left in the first period. It's Basin Stoke one, Telford one. The uh, gestures on the ice there from uh, Sam Oakford. Uh, gesturing to one of the players. Something and uh, louder now. Nice play, nice play from Jack Watkins there. Just to disrupt the players. What Graham goes in to finish his check and the puck's fired into Lauko and what can the Bison do is uh, until the final minute and a half of this first period Mislovskis uh, oh and that's going to be a penalty call here on Carl Graham that's a little bit too much of the body away from the puck and it's going to be a tripping call on him and uh, with 1 minute 30 exactly left on the clock it's a quick key moment to in this game uh, both sides evenly matched so far but a power play chance for the Telford Tigers and it's their first power play it'll be interesting to see what they do here, we're expecting to put, them, to put a lot of emphasis on getting that puck out to Chris Allen with that shot, but a good change of momentum perhaps potentially for the Tel Telford Tigers here with uh, time ticking down the first period, there's a chance to get a goal. And there we are, there's a, there's a seven the point to Chris Allen's shot, it seems to be steered in by one of the Telford players and uh, well, just eight seconds gone on that, on that power play, the Telford Tigers find themselves back in front and uh, yeah, we were just talking about the importance of getting the puck out to Chris Allen and his, his shot there on that. And uh, didn't see which uh, Tigers player exactly it was who got the uh, the tip, but uh, lo and behold, uh, they've now got the lead back. It'll be interesting to see how the, how the Tigers can uh, come out with the second period. They've got a very lively first period, a very even first period with both sides, so a bit of intensity, a bit of certainly a lot of high tempo stuff being played here tonight. And, uh, Pucks by round to Bronneman to Chin. Round to Bronneman. He's got Lauka in the middle, tries to find him, saved. And Lauka trying to poke that puck through uh, 
Clarkson's five hole, but it was closed for business and uh, there was no room for him to fire that puck as McKenzie comes back now. And uh, we've seen how dangerous the Tigers can be, can be on the break tonight. Uh, he's got a lot of speed. And Hornak now, that's a shot down, he scored for Telford and Hornak there with the pass from McKenzie. Fired that into the roof of the net, past Tomanez's outstretched glove hand. And as we start early in the second period, the Telford Tigers have increased their lead and it's now 3 1 here. Trying to finish a check, it's uh, with uh, Kieran Long. We saw uh, a bit of a scrap last weekend in the game against Bracknell. It's uh, Carl Graham now. Smart place here, smart place for Benko. And here come the Bison now, it's two on two. Long now. And it's a shot go again, steered round by Clarkson. Morris will look back here. The Bison starts to put more pressure on the Tigers today. The Tigers just go to sit further and further back. They're obviously looking for the break. We've got a lot of speed, Kibanko shot. Padov's oh, gone in there for the Bison. He's not entirely sure he's going to claim that, but uh, a very fortunate goal for the Bison, but it's given them away back into this game. And with 10 minutes almost gone in the second period, it's now 3 2 to Telford, and the Bison are coming. It's all done now, and the, the Tigers have a power play. Of course, they scored in their first attempt. Uh, this power play's lasted a little longer than eight seconds, as. Uh, but always it's right to 25 seconds in fact so it's a result for the Bison here so they come to Telford now they look to restore that two goal gap and give them a little bit of breathing room then. here they come, it's Henry and got Allen on the point the Bison have got to make sure they shut up the lanes to him because he wants that puck he's hungry, he scored the, the goal on the power play here he goes again, he wasn't shaping the shoot Bruce now back to Henry Henry shot, fired in and another power play goal for the Telford Tigers there Good play in the Bison zone, just knocking it around to each other. Found the space, and after much delay, Henry fires that puck into the corner of the net from a narrow angle, and the Tigers have restored their two-goal advantage. It's been, it's been it's been better towards the end of this second period, though, hasn't it? They've uh, started to create a few more chances. But again, they're still being limited to the long shots, and uh, so oh, yeah, they've also they've also changed up to uh, or trying to change to get their power play unit on the ice here, but. Uh, Boniface has sent a few of the players off, but they certainly need this power play to try and get uh, themselves back to one goal, and that's what they'll be looking to do, and move it around and hopefully get some shots away. Kyrus as ever with a blue line and blast, will be at the back post here, and if they can get the puck to him, he might have a go. There we go, and that's what we were talking about. Get the puck to Kyrus, and he'll make something happen. A lovely pass to him. From Red it looked like Redmond and the one-timer from Kyrus. Fired low into the corner of the goal, and the Bison are back in this with a power play goal. With two minutes and 39 seconds remaining on this period, it's now 4-3 to Telford. And I think they've just got to not panic. They've got 20 minutes to uh, get a goal back, if not get the winner. It's just a matter of just plugging away, but hopefully not giving away any errors at the back and just not stretching yourselves too early. Chances will come, maybe on the power play. Penalties should come. But the next goal is probably going to be, be vital to decide, I think, who wins this contest. And I could put my neck on the line and say the next goal will probably be the winning team, if there is one. Exactly, yeah. It's going to, this goal is going to be interesting to see what will happen in this period. It's certainly going to be exciting. We set up for exciting, another exciting game here. They got Lauka now. Lauka with the chance and he scores! That's going to be set. Oh, and they're falling to the goal now. Inside the first minute of the third period, the Vice have made it all square and it's that man Andre Lauko and he put up up right past the poor Martin Clarkson's pad, uh, blocker, sorry, and uh, well, with a minute gone, it's his fifth goal of the season and the Vice have tied it back up and that's going to give them all the momentum now for the rest of the period. Good little good youngsters on this team and a, oh a shot a good save from a net there because that was almost found the gap in the in the net and here they come now it's it's Redmond Redmond with the backhand is shot just wise and it's now down to Hemmings Hemmings there's a shot go rebounds available Graham was going a bit back on his heels as he let the shot go but the Pucks is still alive fired in a bit of a mix up in the, in the back for Telford but it's cleared and Oakwood's gone back to pick it up the Bison really starting to step their game up Hemmings now dumps it into the corner and the Tigers going to pick it up. Oh, Wiggins stumbles there just as he was about to come in and pick the, pick the puck away from the Telford players. And it's going around the net now. Redmond again bundled to the ice by Mislovskis. And he's got it! What a bicep! A great, deep goal there! 
Norris Charlie Shaw, who got the last time he's Kim and Heavy trying to make weapons on the important thing is with 13 minutes remaining on this final period, the Bison have finally got themselves in front. And it's no more than their players deserve in these last couple of minutes because they've really been stepping their game up. <laughs> it's certainly going to be interesting for an interesting final couple of minutes. And Mario wins the draw. Skeen is just a shake of that frustrating period. Of what pass am I in the high stick? Never know. It's a back. Oh, Kivenko's pass was just intercepted by a Telford man. They've done it right to defend it well tonight, just getting the bodies in when they need to. Moria. Reynolds. Reynolds buys it in high and might have just come off the mask of the goalie there, but uh, something, something to keep him awake. But uh, again, the Cisco for the Bison, they've got the one goalie, but they're, they're keeping the possession in the Telford zone and not allowing them to break out. Yeah, they just got to be careful that, uh, as you say, they're not letting them break out, and that's the way they've got to keep it, because uh, we've seen how dangerous they can be on the breakaway. And they've certainly just got to keep their discipline and keep firing those shots in, and hopefully one will go in in a minute. And hopefully Daniel. Chris Wiggins will get a hat-trick if we're lucky. Daniel, a lot of speed on the tail, but there would be a certain threat and the chance for a breakaway. And, uh, but credit to the Bison, they're just keeping the possession in the Telford zone, taking time off the clock. Wiggins on the Irish, perhaps he's going to look for a hat-trick, especially if uh, they pull the goalie, so that'd be something to look out for as what's in the game. Shoves his opponent there, who tries to have another dig as he regains the puck back. And Hemmings, Hemmings, oh! But then Wiggins, hat-trick for Chris Wiggins! And a senior ball to just get that up and roll. Poor old uh, Martin Carson looks towards the skies as Chris Wiggins has got a hat-trick, it looks like, and finally the Bison <laughs> throwing their helmets up. Gloves, don't know where the gloves are coming from, but uh, it's a hat-trick for Chris Wiggins and no more than the Bison deserve for an excellent third period. Well, as you say, there's the chances, they kept plugging away, and uh, guys have thrown their uh, hat helmets and uh, gloves on to there, celebrate uh, Chris Wiggins' first hat-trick for, uh, for the Bison, that's for sure. Chris Wiggins, and uh, I might even put my neck on the line and say he might get man of the match tonight. Yeah, she's certainly been out there, <laughs> certainly impressive performances from Redmond as well, on the same line, and uh, yeah, but you can see um, how much the team, it meant to the team for Wiggins to score that hat-trick with the with the rather bizarre throwing the equipment on the ice, which uh, I certainly haven't seen in a while, but uh, or ever, in fact, and uh, it's, it's certainly not over yet. There's uh, still 50 seconds left on this power play for Telford, and just fire it around McKenzie. And it's nice Alan was a bit caught short there. He wasn't quite expecting the pass to not reach him, so he had to try and scramble and get back to him. Of course, he wasn't able to get there before the vice player got there to knock it away. And McKenzie now. <laughs> Back to McKenzie. Oh, shot, chance, goal, and the Telford Tigers. We said that they're certainly not going to be over yet, and the uh, slightly controversial penalty, perhaps, but they capitalised once again on the on the power play. And that's the third power play goal tonight, and uh, with one minute and 55 seconds on the clock left, it's we're set up for an exciting finish now because they're going to clearly at some point going to pull the goalie and have that extra man on the ice. And we've seen how much of a how well they've done with an extra man on the ice tonight. Fantastic result there from the guys against a very difficult Telford side. Came here to the arena tonight with one objective and nearly came away with the result. They're beginning to show their teeth in the EPL. But fantastic stuff from the Bison. And how about a hat-trick for Chris Wiggins to go in there as well. Certainly great stuff for the guy. Not too sure about the bloke who hands out the man of the matches though. We're back in action again next Saturday on Saturday the 16th of October when we welcome the Slough Jets to the Basingstoke Arena, the first of the Deadwood Derbies on Deadwood Doubleheader Weekend. It's going to be a great weekend of hockey. Hopefully you can all join us here next Saturday at 6.30. Tickets are available from the Arena box office on 01256 355 266. Don't forget, of course, you can also purchase them off the official Basingstoke Bison website at www.bstokebison.co.uk. You can also purchase all the DVDs and photos for this season at bisontv.boltactionmedia.co.uk. Well, this has been a Bison TV production brought to you by Bolt Action Media in association with the Basing Stoke Bison. I'm looking forward to seeing you all next Saturday. It's my birthday. Bring me lots of presents, please. I don't get many. I'm getting too old these days. But from all of us here, until my birthday day next weekend, goodbye.